In Chapter 3 of Learning Seaside, we'll explore some Seaside examples. We've launched our Seaside one-click experience and now have the web browser open. Clicking on Config gives us the Config application, which allows us to look at some statistics and information about various processes. We can configure individual applications, in this case the Hello World example that we created earlier, and identify various deployment and server information about the application. Returning to Seaside, we can go to the Examples directory and see the traditional Seaside counter example, where clicking on anchors increases and decreases the counter. Returning to the Examples directory, we can look at the Store application. This is a sample SushiNet store where we can browse items in the catalog, add them to a shopping cart. The Examples directory has a tree report that shows how you can provide a tree view, in this case of the Smalltalk class hierarchy, starting with object at the top level. Magritte is provided with the sample, as is Peer, a content management system. The testing directory has a series of functional tests that demonstrate a wide variety of functionality. Here's the various buttons, a date times a date selection test. So we can identify dates, times, and date times. These widgets are available for use in the application and we'll see that later in one of the chapters. Here we have a table demonstration. There's some widgets that provide the ability to ask and answer questions. Here we see the input test. These are typical form widgets, single line, multi-line, single selection, multi-selection, and we can see that making changes and clicking the submit button changes the values stored internally for those particular items. We can have automatic form submission with an anchor. A submit button is not required. You can change the value in the text entry field and it will be reflected in the form submission. There's a lightbox dialog demonstration so we can provide an answer to a question and see that it generates a lightbox. Seaside also has support for Scriptaculous, a library of widgets that provide a richer user interface experience based on the client. Changes entered into a text entry widget, for example, are reflected immediately in the domain model back on the server and can be reflected back out when needed to the web browser without even going through a submit button. Here's an example of autocompleter. We've started typing ordered collection and it's given us a list. As we type more, it gets closer to the correct item. Here we have drag and drop where you can take items from the top list, drop them into the bottom, into the middle list, or take them from the middle list and drop them into the bottom list. There's effects, blinds down, blinds up, and a series of other scriptaculous effects available for use in a seaside application. Now we can quit our image and demonstrate that the seaside server is no longer running.